Welcome to this YouTube tutorial for configuring Cubase uh, settings for, for audio. So basically, if you want to configure your Cubase in order for you to have the best audio settings or the, uh, the settings that you need in order for you to record your audio and your MIDI using your sound card. So these are the steps that you're supposed to, to take. So the first thing is you go to the file menu. You go to the file menu right there at the top and then you click on devices after clicking on devices you go all the way down to the bottom where you're gonna see device setup so click on device setup and then it's gonna open this window here so at the top you're going to see VST audio system if you don't see VST audio system here which means on the left side the tab will be set to something else so look for VST audio system click on it and then you're going to see VST audio system here. So if you have not connected any drivers yet or any sound card, uh, it won't show anything here. It will show it as uh, no driver. So once you have connected your sound card, you can now see the list of the audio systems or the, the, so the sound systems that your sound card, that your system is using. All right. So um, you can see ASIO for all. So if you want to record let's say from a MIDI controller keyboard uh, without any latency, without any delay, then you should choose ASIO for all. So this is the best setting if you want to record MIDI from your MIDI controller keyboard. All right. If you simply want to record uh, audio from your sound card, for example, if you've connected your sound card and you want to connect your microphone to your sound card, you choose UMC, I mean, you choose the sound card that you're using here. So the sound card that you are connecting will show here. If it's M Audio, it will show here. If it's Behringer, it will show here. So the one that I'm using is a Behringer UMC sound card. So it's going to show here as UMC ASIO driver. So I'm going to choose this as the sound card that I'm using. So click on it and then say switch. When you say switch, just say OK. OK, it's not done yet. Then you have to you go back to the file menu and to devices again. Uh, and then now we go to VST connections in order to, for you to do the settings for your inputs and your outputs on the sound card. Right. So at the top here, you see two tabs, one inputs and one output. So let's start with the tab for inputs. So click on inputs. And then uh, now this is where you activate the inputs that your sound card has or where your microphone is connected to. All right. So if your microphone is connected to input number one, make sure input number one is on top. If your microphone is connected to input number two, make sure input number two uh, is on top. All right. So let's say if your microphone is connected to input number three, for example, if your sound card has got three or more outputs, choose the one that you, your microphone is connected to. So my microphone is connected to input number number two. So this is the one that will allow sound to come into Cubase in order for it to be recorded. All right. Now, after inputs, you now go to the outputs. So and simply uh, choose out one and out two for the left speaker and for the right speaker on your sound card. And then now you can close this sub window here to go to the back to the main window. All right. Now you can start recording. Uh, by clicking right click here and then say add audio track and then choose mono for your microphone and then say okay all right and then after this now you can start recording so let's see if audio is coming in yes you can see the waveform of the sound coming in here as i speak so that means i have set my sound card in order to allow audio uh, into input number two of my sound card. All right, all easy. All right, so thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll be having more tutorials on Cubase. So like my channel, or subscribe to my channel, like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll be giving you more video tutorials for Cubase. Thank you.